Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to day three of Vlogmas. So for this year's Vlogmas, I wanted to sit down and kind of do a little bit more of a few more sit down videos than the last Vlogmas I did, which I vlogged a ton, but a lot of things were happening in my life back then. So, which if you didn't know, here's the link to our other Vlogmas, my other Vlogmas. Um, we got engaged the last time I did Vlogmas, two years ago. So crazy how time has flown, but I wanted to incorporate more sit down videos just because y'all know it's lockdown season, especially here in Germany. So we aren't really going out and doing much for Christmas time. Um, I'm doing what I can in the house and things like that, but I didn't want a vlog for every single day. I wanted to kind of throw in some sit down videos here and there. So if you're new, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below and we're gonna just hop into this video. So today, if you couldn't tell by the title, I'm going to be talking about some meaningful Christmas gift ideas. So disclaimer, if you are a family member of Jake and I, don't watch this video because I have some of y'all's gifts in here. We all know this year is going to be more meaningful gifts and less expensive gifts for the most part for most of us. Um, I know 2020 has been a hard year and I know that people still wanna give gifts to their family without spending a ton. So I wanted to make this video for those of us who wanna spend more time on gifts this year and kind of put more meaning into gifts rather than money. So if you're interested in that, then let's go ahead and get started. This year in particular, I wanted to emphasize shopping on Etsy, shopping in small local shops near you, find some online, there are plenty to shop from, but I wanted to go ahead and emphasize that now because it definitely means more when you buy something that's not mass made or Amazon or you know a big huge department store or things like that. Obviously you can make those gifts meaningful if that means something to that person, but I wanna emphasize shopping small this year. This year is so important for small businesses and I really hope that y'all can consider shopping small this year just because you're supporting somebody being able to give Christmas gifts to their family and having a job instead of you know supporting Target or Walmart or you know a bigger brand like that. So I would go ahead and look on Etsy for some ideas if none of these are helpful to you, but I really hope they are. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get onto the list. So the first thing that I have is custom art. If you're planning on doing this, hop on this fast. I know, especially on Etsy, there are a lot of companies that are you know, setting deadlines and you're gonna have to pay a lot for shipping and things like that. Um, if you can find somewhere close to you and local to you that can do this, that would be great. What I did last year for my mother for our wedding gift because she was just amazing throughout the whole process and I wanted to do something meaningful for her. I got a custom print made. It was me and her at the wedding. I got her dress that she actually wore made like on it and it's obviously looks like my dress, things like that. I'll insert a picture in here if I can get one for my mom, but I gave it to her and she framed it and I don't know where it is in the house because I haven't been there since then, but I know that that meant a lot to me to be able to give that to her and it's just a memory that, you know, it's besides the, the pictures that you actually took and it's something that I feel like you made an effort to do. I just really think custom art, especially on Etsy, there's so many options. There's options for pets, there's options for families, there's options for houses, there's options for all kinds of things. I would really love to eventually be able to give my family a uh, custom painting of our house that my sister and I grew up in, my family, like we all, you know, lived there for 20 plus years. So I would really love to get them that. They recently sold their house this year, so I feel like it would be the perfect Christmas gift. I'm not sure if it's gonna get done in time, but that is what I'm planning on doing for Christmas this year for my parents. So custom art is so amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and insert some um, links down below that you can look at if you are looking for something like that. I'll link the exact person that did ours uh, for the wedding down below so you can go look at that as well. But yeah, custom art is a great idea, very meaningful. You actually took the time to have somebody make something from a picture or you know, things like that. So I definitely love custom art. I feel like it's such an amazing gift. The second thing I have on my list is a hand painted Bible or just a Bible in general. If you're not religious, give me 30 seconds and I'll be done. But I think a Bible is so significant for people. And I don't mean like just buying one, you know, 
willy-nilly and not really thinking about it if you're gonna buy somebody a bible look on etsy they have hand painted ones that are beautiful you can get them custom painted if you have a specific verse or something that you love but i feel like a bible is definitely something that's meaningful especially for someone who is new to their faith or is someone that is like rediscovering their faith or is just faithful in general um anything like that i feel like is very significant so if you are maybe on a time crunch you can go buy a bible and if not you can get one custom painted or just a painted one on etsy okay if you're my mother-in-law and you're watching this which i hope you're not because i said not to don't watch this because this is your gift so for christmas this year for my mother-in-law jake and i love to cook and we always send her our food that we make and she's always so impressed and she's like oh send me the recipe send me the recipe and of course Jake never does so what I decided to do this year is go ahead and have a recipe book custom made that says like Ashley and Jake's recipes like our favorites or whatever and I am going to fill that in with recipes we've made some are on Pinterest I'm definitely gonna like write the Pinterest thing on it but some of them are just things that we love to make and I would love to have her have those recipes I know that she's not gonna make all of them but I just think that like it's meaningful to think back on conversations that you've had of her actually saying hey i love your recipes and i would love to know what the recipe is so if you have someone in your life like that that loves to know what you cook is interested in what you do maybe share a little piece of your hobby with them and another one kind of similar to that is a photo album you can get tons of custom made photo albums but i feel like you know regular photo albums work they have tons at like marshall's and home goods and walmart and target and all kinds of places you can find photo albums anywhere but printing out your photos with that person or another thing that i had planned on doing but it just didn't work out was going to print out photos that my mother-in-law or like my mom or family members had posted or you know just vacation photos things like that having them printed out and put them into a photo book i don't know about you means so much to me because i love having photos i have photos all throughout college i have a photo album for my college times like all my college years i just printed them all out all my important photos which i had like way more than that but you know printed out all those photos and i put them in a book and then i had a photo album of when jake and i were dating i have a photo album of when we lived in Colorado, I'm going to have a photo album of us living in Germany and our travels and things like that. So I love photo albums. I think they're so meaningful and special if you print them out yourself. Um, and if you don't want to print out the photos because you don't know what photos to do, give them the photo album, give them a flash drive and say, here, put photos you want me to print out on this flash drive. I want this photo book to be special for you. You know, put it on the flash drive and I will go print it out for you. Or sit down together and look through photos together, pick some out that you want to have printed. That's always a good time too, because it's an experience and it's something that, you know, you're not just printing out random photos if you don't know what they want printed out. So photo albums are always a good idea. All right, so I have two more for you guys. One is an ornament. It's Christmas time. I feel like especially if there is a significant event throughout the year, you can have them custom made on Etsy. I know I keep pushing Etsy, but Etsy is such a great place to get gifts all throughout the year, especially right now because there are small businesses on there that are really struggling. But point is, go on Etsy and find a ornament that you love or, you know, if you traveled somewhere or if you plan on traveling during Christmas and you know that, you know, someone loves that place or whatever, find an ornament. I recommend doing a custom ornament just because it means so much but I feel like an ornament is such a good idea because you can just throw it up on the tree as soon as you get it and then every year when you redecorate the tree you have that ornament and that special memory to put up on the tree so an ornament is kind of a I don't want to say basic idea but you know I feel like it might not be as much of a popular idea anymore and I feel like ornaments are so special so an ornament if you're uh, wanting to get it custom made, check out Etsy. I know I've pushed it so many times, but I will continue to push it because small businesses are so important. Okay. Now, the last thing that I want to share is a star. If you're in a last minute situation, I think this is a great idea. For my dad's birthday this year, we went, was it birthday or father's day? I don't remember. I got him a star that was named after our family, like his last name, so our family name. And I just thought it was so special because there are people in your life that you're just like, 
what the heck do I get for you? You literally have everything. And if you didn't have everything, you could buy whatever you wanted. So shopping for parents is definitely hard, but I feel like a star is so special. It was only like 20 bucks, I think, ish. And like depends on what packages you get. But I went to star starnameregistry.org and they claim that they're the ones that are like real and endorsed by NASA, but like who freaking knows? Who freaking cares, honestly, okay? Same star might have 800 names, but like it's a thought that counts, okay? Just think of that, it's a thought that counts. There's millions, billions, trillions of stars. So, you know, you could always use the excuse of like, that one's yours. Who, how are they gonna know? They're not gonna know. So my dad got a certificate that said like, this is your star, it's named Mac B, which is my maiden name. So weird to say wow it's still weird to say um and it had like the coordinates and like what sun sign it's in and i did his birthday sun sign so it's like in leo and it tells you whenever you go online it tells you like where you when you can see it and like where it's at and all that kind of stuff so it's very meaningful i think he really loved it it's something that he would never have bought for himself and yeah, so those are my meaningful Christmas gifts. I really hope they help you guys if y'all are stuck on what to buy somebody this year. For the most part, a lot of these things are, I would say about 50 at most for some of these to like usually around like 30, maybe $20 a piece. So you can really find a good range of things on Etsy. But yeah, I would just definitely check out Etsy if you're still unsure what to get. There's so many custom things you can order on there maybe pay for fast shipping now because i know it's a little bit later into the christmas buying season which like everybody thinks it's not but when you shop online it is point being hop on that right now if you are planning on getting something custom made it is so important to shop small this season and i really hope y'all enjoyed this gift guide if y'all have any other ideas please go ahead and leave them down in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video which is tomorrow <laughs> bye guys